Hello students, today we will discuss about the visual angle and distance of distinct vision. Now, the visual angle, what is visual angle? When we see an object, the object size depends on how near the object is in front of us. That means, if I see the pen here, if I look at the pen here, I say, okay, this is 15 centimeter. If this object is taken away and farther away slowly from me, then if it is kept very large distance in front of me, then I cannot say its size is 15 centimeter the size is definitely going to reduce. That is why the size of the moon or the size of the sun appears to be very small. In fact, the moon appears to be like this, this much size. The sun appears to be like this much size, but this is not the actual size. The sun is uh, many more times bigger than the earth. So, if this is so big, then why it looks like this? Because it all depends on this visual angle. Any object looks smaller or bigger depending on what angle it projects at the eye. So, let us understand this. Suppose that I have an object here. Okay. If I, my eye is over here. This is my eye okay now how much angle it subtained at the eye this subtends an angle suppose this is theta at the eye this is the object distance this is my eye this is the object and this is the size of the object and this is the object distance and this is the angle subtended at the eye now the same object is placed over here you can see the, same, the object is same, the height is same, but what angle it will subtend now? It will subtend a different angle. You can see here. Now it will subtend this angle. Suppose this is theta and this is alpha. You can see that theta is greater than alpha. So this angle is called visual angle. Whether it, theta in this case, first position, second position. In the first position the angle is theta, in the second position the angle is alpha. This angle that is subtended is called visual angle. So this theta and alpha are called visual angle. That means greater the visual angle, the greater the size of the object appears to be. So that means this object when it is placed here appears to be larger in size than when it is placed here. Similarly, if I keep on moving the object very, very far away, the angle will keep on decreasing. So, what is the definition of visual angle? The angle subtended at the eye by an object is called visual angle. Obviously, the eye <coughs> is called <coughs> So now what about DDV? DDV means our human eyes are also lenses. It can see object up to a certain how far it can see. The farthest point is infinity and the nearest point we call it 25 centimeter for as the eyes. That means uh, if I have my eye over here is my eye and I place an object over here which is 25 centimeters say. Then, whatever angle it obtains, suppose the angle subtends is alpha. Okay, this is the visual angle subtended when the object is at DDV. This distance is called DDV. DDV means distance of distinct vision. DDV means distance of distinct vision. Now, uh, sometimes we call only D. So, D is 25 centimeters. 
then I can take uh, this or uh, place this object not here. I can place somewhere here. I can keep it any distance away from me. Then also still I can see the object because it depends only on the size. But you can see the object. That means we can see the stars in the sky because they are very very far away from us. We can say compared to us, it is infinite distance from us. So when the object is at infinite distance, then also you can see the millions of millions of lights light years ahead of it. Still you can see the stars. So that means we can see our limit of uh, uh, visualization. I can, uh, we can see the object uh, when it is at infinity, then also you can see it. So if the object is placed at infinity, at infinity, this is my upper limit and this is my lower limit. So this is 25 centimeter. So within that, I can see properly for healthy eyes. And if I bring this object more closer to towards the eye, that means if the distance is decreased from 25 centimeter, then I can see the object. It is not that I cannot see. So here it is 25 centimeter, suppose. I can see it. Here also I can see it, but then it will cause strain in my eye. You can see that here, you can check yourself. You keep it here, you, will, you can see the object, no strain in eye, I close, bring it. 25 is okay, but if it is more than less than 25 centimeter, you will start to see the eye is strained. You will see that eye is strained. So you can see, but the for really high 25 to infinity is the limit. Now, what is DDV? DDV is the distance of least distance of distinct vision. This is the farthest distance of distinct vision. This is the least distance of distinct vision. So DDV is the least distance of distinct vision where you can see the object without causing any strain to the eye. So that is the definition. I will write it here. That means it is the <coughs> minimum distance you can bring it closer and still you can see it without causing strain to the eye. It is the minimum or least distance the object can be brought nearer to the eye. Okay, this is generally for healthy eye it is uh, 25 centimeter. Okay, now <coughs> you must also note that when uh, or might have experienced that as the object is moved away and away the angle, visual angle gradually decreases and uh, uh, if i take uh, <coughs> two objects and uh, keep it moving away from me then uh, the angle projects angle projects at me will also keep on decreasing and a point will come when both the points appear to be at the same point same point that means you will not be able to distinguish those two points that means that means uh, what i want to say is that if i have now such like this and these are the two ends and or simply i will take a two points or point of it here and keep it moving so you can see it will keep on subtending lesser and lesser angle at me and time will come when you will not be able to see the two objects separately suppose what i will say is if you have a an object two point object here this is my eye so they will subtend this angle this much angle if I move this object to these two points, this they will subtend less angles now. You can see here the angle is decreasing. Okay. I keep these two objects over here. Still the angle will decrease. You can see the angle will still decrease. Like this. So as they move away and away. A time will come, this visual angle will be very very less and you will not be able to distinguish these two objects. It will appear to be the same. So this happens that when you stand in a railway track and look at these two points and then further these two points, then further these two points and you look long ahead, you will see that these two rails are appearing, they are appearing to be meeting at a point. 
they are not parallel lines. You will see that they appear to be made at a point because your visual angle will gradually decrease, and it will you will see that it will there waiting at a point. Similarly, uh, you can say that if there are stars or, or in the skies, so you see one star, you cannot say actually whether it is one star. It can be a combination of many stars, just like these two objects. When at very far distance, these two objects will mingle with each other. You will not be able to distinguish that that and appear to be the same. So the stars are seen as, as a single star may be a combination of many stars because we are at very far of distance we are hardly able to distinguish these two this is called resolution of the uh, objects okay resolution of object the resolving power of the uh, instruments this is called the resolving limit that also discussed in uh, higher studies not in the standard okay so this is for uh, visual angle and ddv thank you very much